But then again, they're in the middle of the Himalayan mountain range.、Mm. You can't just like go and find these people. They don't say, "Oh, we're on Glacier B. It's just to the left of Mountain F." No, they have to go find them. So finding、yeah. these climbers in time will be an extremely challenging task.、Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. They don't have maybe GPS. I mean, if they had a cell phone, they probably don't have a signal. Yeah, I don't think they, they have any reception up there. Follow their cell phone or anything. So it will be very difficult or extremely. Challenging and extremely is an adverb. E x t r e m e l y. It basically kind of means the same as very. It's extremely hard. It's very hard. It's extremely hot. It's very hot. That's all we're talking about. Our third vocabulary word: challenging.、Mm. C h a l l e n g i n g.、Mm-hmm. It's an adjective.、Mm. If something is challenging,、mm-hmm. it is difficult,、mm. but in an interesting way、uh. because it tests your ability to do something.、Mm. For example, Tina got bored of her job very quickly because it wasn't challenging enough. It was too easy. Yeah. It wasn't hard, difficult, demanding,、Mm-mm. anything like that. Challenging things can be fun, can't can. they? Rescuing people from a mountain it could be challenging. I'm、I、not sure about. about I'm not、yeah. sure about fun, but I guess once you did it, you'd feel very good. Yeah, you were successful. But back to the pilot, it says without exact coordinates, locating them is a matter of chance. Well, the coordinates. This is kind of what I was talking about with maps、mm-hmm. or with GPS. It'll give you. Coordinates. Basically, a coordinate will be two lines that cross, and you'll be able to know where the lines cross. That's where they are.、Hmm. We look at maps, and they have things like degrees and minutes and seconds and stuff like that. Those are coordinates. If you have another map that has all the letters from A to H across the top, and all the numbers from one to eight down the bottom, you can pick two. B four. Those are the coordinates. You know the thing is in that area. So coordinates are numbers or information that can be plotted out on a map to give you an accurate place or an accurate location. If you don't have the coordinates, basically you're looking. That's all you're doing. You're、yeah. up in your helicopter and you're trying to see the the red jackets of the climbers. So、mm-hmm. it is very challenging. Coordinates would they be also considered latitude and longitude? Latitude and longitude on、yeah. a map could be coordinates. That's、mm. the degrees, minutes, and seconds I mentioned. Right.、Yeah. Okay. So if something is a matter of chance, it happens by chance. You gotta be lucky. For example, winning the lottery is a matter of chance.、Yep. It doesn't involve any skill. Can't plan it. It's、Unless、just gonna happen. You have tons and tons of money, and you can buy every single number. Maybe. But that's just chance. It's、that's、not skill. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, to make things even more difficult, time is not on Jason's side, as it will be dark in four hours. Right?、Uh-oh. You can't fly up there in the dark, and of course, you can't see anything in the dark. So, as the article says, time is not on his side. He doesn't have extra time. Time is something he's worrying about. He's got to get lucky soon. To make matters worse, our article says next the weather turns against、oh, him、gosh. as the sky becomes cloudy.、Oh. If something turns against you, it is not in your favor. What this means is that the weather makes things more difficult for Jason. So maybe there's a snow snowstorm that's coming up. Pretty much the weather is not good. There's no sun, maybe. And remember earlier, we also talked about how. It's getting dark. It's going to get dark in four hours. Wow! So the weather's closing in. The、mm-hmm. light is getting worse, and they don't exactly know where to look. This sounds like they're basically going to have to win the lottery to find the people that night. And of course, it could be very dangerous for the、yeah. pilot and the helicopter and anyone who travels because they could crash. Now、they、you'd、could. have two people, two groups to go and rescue. So what do they do? They do something they probably don't want to do, but, but it's the、to. smart and the safe thing to do.、Mm-hmm. It says Jason is forced to postpone the mission until morning. There's nothing they can do about it that night. You can't make a bad situation worse by having the rescue helicopter crash as well. So they decide to postpone the mission. Postpone is P-O-S-T. P O N E postpone postpone and it's basically a verb that means to put something off. There's an activity you can't do it now. You're not canceling it. You will do it, but just later on. For example, you might postpone a baseball game from Saturday to Sunday if it's、mm-hmm. raining Saturday afternoon. Well, let's just do it tomorrow. We'll do it just later on. Our article says the following day. 
Jason spots the climbers Yay! and feels relieved they're all still alive. I'm relieved they're alive. Finally, he okay. He said after finding them. <laughs> Our fifth vocabulary word, relieved. <laughs> R e l i e v e d is an adjective. If you are relieved, oh. it means you are glad because oh. you aren't worried about something. Phew. So he's he's relieved oh. that the climbers are still there, mm. and the most important thing, they're still alive. I'm not worried anymore. That's a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> I can finally sleep well. I'm so relieved. I was worried, but all of that's gone away now. Here's an example sentence. Okay. Carol was relieved mm -hmm. when a kind stranger returned her missing cell phone. Well, that was nice. She was worried she lost it and all the numbers and information and mm -hmm. oh, I have it back. Somebody oh, gave it back to her. That's nice. But still, he might have found the climbers. It says, but they are not. Out of the woods just yet, right? Are they right? in the woods? No, it means that they're not out of danger. Oh. If you're in the woods, it means you're kind of lost. You could be in danger. If you're out of the woods, you can see where you are. You feel safer. So these guys,、mm -hmm. these climbers are there. They're probably freezing cold and very hungry. Hey, a helicopter!、Help. And they're jumping around, but still, they're not in the helicopter.、There's、and the helicopter is not back where it should be in to safety. So they're not out of the woods yet. There、I、is、see. still some danger. Our article says it's too difficult to land on the glacier. Oh, it's all ice. He doesn't know if if it can. What if it slips? Right, or, or glaciers、flies. often have big holes, big crevasses. So it could just like crash through the ice and and go into a big hole. So what do they do? What do they do? So Jason keeps the helicopter in the air, just above the ice. As we mentioned, helicopters can just hover or、yeah. hang in the air like a humming bee, hummingbird, or a bee or something. So he's not going to land、nope. on the ice.、Nope. He's just going to stay in one position. Over the ice. That's right.、Yeah. Maybe just a few feet or a half a meter、mm -hmm. off the ice. He's a very skilled pilot. And then one by one, his team, the guys in the back, pull the climbers on board and then lifts them to safety. So they do get them off. It just takes a bit of time. They have to be very, very careful. And of course, when they bring them on board or into the helicopter, they do it one by one, one, one climber at a time. No rushing to the door. You guys. Guys, wait there. One of you come forward. We get you, and then we'll do another one. If you're ever being rescued, listen to the instructions of the rescuers. Don't push. Don't shove. People will get in more trouble. Just be smart, be safe, and do things one by one if you're told to. Then our article says, for more unbelievable rescues like this, tune into Everest Rescue on Discovery. Our final vocabulary word: unbelievable. U N B E L I E V A B L E. Unbelievable is an adjective. If something is unbelievable, it's very good. It's very successful or impressive. For example, Cedric impressed the judges with his unbelievable voice. Okay, so Everest Rescue sounds like a really good show. It really does. It、yeah. sounds very exciting. I remember reading about these guys and and understanding that、mm -hmm. that helicopters are very hard to fly. I'm actually surprised they're allowed to film that. It does sound like a dangerous thing. I mean, that's true. Even for the camera guys yeah, in the helicopter. Yeah, there's two helicopters, or maybe、right. one helicopter. Right. There's a lot of extra weight there,、mm -hmm. but good for them. They've saved lots of people over the years, and I think every year more people go to Mount Everest、mm -hmm. to climb it. So. They'll probably be even busier、mm -hmm. in the future, but yes, very brave people. Okay, so that's all we have for our article today. But、okay. stay tuned for our for you chat.